How Dolphins Communicate by Alexandra Gatpandan, Lisa Estrada, and Abigail Valencia from San Diego Mesa College. Dolphins are some of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. Their communication abilities reflect this intelligence. This presentation will go over how dolphins produce sounds, what sounds dolphins make, how they use body movements to communicate, and their echolocation ability. First, we will take a look at how dolphins produce sounds. After dolphins inhale at the surface, the air moves from the lungs to a series of nasal air sacs that are located underneath the blowhole. Dolphins have four main pairs of air sacs. These nasal sacs are used to manipulate air pressure inside the spiricular cavity, and these sacs also function as acoustic mirrors, redirecting sound forward. Primary sound production is attributed to the dolphin's dorsal bursa complex. Each dorsal bursa is located below flaps of tissue known as the monkey lips that are found in the spiricular cavity. Air bubbles released from the spiricular cavity cause the monkey lips to slap together creating vibrations that are transmitted into the dolphin's melon, a fat-filled organ. The melon then focuses the sound waves. Dolphins use a variety of sounds and body movements to communicate. Dolphins use two kinds of vocal signals, pulse sounds and pure tones. Pure tones are whistles, screams, and chirps. While the functions and meanings of these sounds are not understood, they are thought to possibly reflect different psychological states in the animal. Pulse sounds are brief sounds that occur in rapid succession at regular intervals and have been observed in different social contexts. Dolphins produce click sounds using their nasal sacs from the top of their heads. They use multiple clicks in a series, called a click train, as a type of sonar to perceive each other in darkness or in turbid water. This helps them with hunting. Three distinct phases in dolphin click trains can be identified when these animals are chasing their prey. Search, approach, and prey capture. The first phase is when dolphins are searching for their prey scanning the environment by constantly making click sounds until they detect their prey. Next is the approach phase. Once they detect their prey, the frequency of their clicking increases rapidly, meaning dolphins are homing in on their target. Finally, when they are nearing their prey at about one meter distance, the dolphins produce a terminal buzz, which is a high rate of successive clicks sounding like a high-pitched buzz. The time interval between clicks can decrease to as low as one millisecond. This is 0.001 of a second. This helps them home into their prey to finally capture it. Dolphins use whistles to communicate with each other and very likely other species. It is believed that each dolphin has their own unique whistle called a signature whistle. This special whistle is used to identify an individual dolphin, much like how our voices identify us. Dolphins produce whist whistles during social situations, when they are separated from their podmates, and when they are excited or alarmed. When dolphins get lost or scared, they produce signature whistles to call to out to their podmates for help.
Dolphins also use non-vocal cues to communicate. For example, dolphins touch each other with their rostrums, the elongated part of their face, after joining or before departing their group. This is kind of like how we hug others when we greet them or when we leave. Some other examples of non-vocal cues include tail flaps slash flipper flaps, which seem to be multi-purpose cues to convey different messages, as well as breeches and jaw claps. Dolphins will also create bubbles and change their posture to communicate and engage in synchronous behaviors during mating. Dolphins have sensitive skin akin to that of humans. A dolphin will rub its flippers against those of another pod mate in a way that is similar to humans holding hands. They also rub their bodies together, moving their flippers rapidly over the face of a pod mate. These behaviors are thought to function as ways the dolphins reinforce social bonds within their group. They can also use their bodies as a form of aggression. Enemies will slam their bodies into each other. Another mechanism that dolphins utilize is echolocation, which is a process that helps the animal determine the position of underwater objects. Echolocation is sound production at frequencies beyond human hearing. It allows dolphins to find prey, judge distances, and navigate in murky water. To perceive nearby objects, dolphins produce high-frequency clicks. These clicks create sound waves that travel quickly through the water around them. So what have we learned about dolphin communication today? Today we have learned about the types of sounds dolphins make, what body language they use, the uses of each sound and body movement, and dolphin echolocation. We have also learned how dolphins use echolocation and what they use it for. So next time you see a dolphin and hear them produce sounds, try to think of what they are communicating to you or their dolphin friends.